And okay, it's getting so a little absurd around here. Yeah, well, it's getting absurd everywhere, I'll be honest with you. I mean, we have had decades and decades of what's come to be known as sort of tradition in the Senate that a nomination and a confirmation shouldn't happen during an election year. Uh, I think Joe That's Biden in 1992 even talked about it. It is a bit apples and oranges. He was talking about if the nominee could meet with Congress, if the president at the time could meet with Congress, then maybe that could be assuaged. I guess well, my he question is... very is, different, Ashley. Very different. It's very different. different. I acknowledge that. In I guess my question is... In terms of the timing, is, too. You have to you have put it in full context. When okay. he when he said this he said this mm -hmm. at the end of the last supreme court uh, of the supreme court session that year so that was in late june and he wasn't talking about filling a vacancy caused by a death he was talking about a uh, a justice gaming the system by resigning after the session ended no one you know no one games the system by dying you don't do that and this was, that was so a full that 11 months, that was a full, okay. uh, when, when Justice Scalia died, it was a full 11 months remaining. And also, you have to, you are, are not quoting Joe Biden in totality, because he said if... I didn't quote him at all. I, I, I paraphrased the concept of what happened in 1992. You're paraphrasing him, not yes. in his entirety. Which and is so are, and so are the Republicans. This is the argument. But but my bigger question is, do you? I mean, look. Don't tell me that this isn't a political thing all the time. The Democrats filibustered like mad the nomination of, of Sam Alito. And politics can come back to bite you in the you know what. Is there regret on the side of the Democrats for having done that? Because now it's come home to roost. No. Well, Samuel Alito sits on the U.S. Supreme Court. Anthony Kennedy, who was confirmed in an election year in 1988. But not nominated in that year. No, he was confirmed in that year. Correct, but, but not nominated in that year. That's something the Republicans are quick to point out, that it's a nomination know, and confirmation in all the same year. You have okay, to give them may that. I speak? Are you really? 100%. Okay, fully. thank you. Thank <laughs> With you. context. <laughs> okay. The, uh, they, say, they have said that no... Uh, that no one has been confirmed in an election year, that's wrong. They, once you start setting a precedent of a time limit, like 11 months, well then why not go to 18 months? This sets a dangerous precedent to undermine, you're right, there's been too much politics in this. This though is trumping all of that by uh, injecting politics by not doing any kind of meetings with the nominee, except now they are. So they're mm -hmm. backing off of that. And that's why I think we are going to eventually, uh, with uh, uh, Judge Garland, have, uh, have confirmation hearings. Because this guy is someone who I think the American people want to hear about and learn about. And from everything I have heard, including from my Republican colleagues, including from Senator Hatch is an exemplary judge.